Hi friends, welcome to my channel Excellent Ideas in Education. Today we are going to learn about CNC Milling Program. You see here in this drawing, the starting point is given here. So we will start the program from here itself. First, we have to draw X and Y axis. Here is plus X. In this one is plus Y. This is minus X minus Y. Now we will write X and Y for G90 code. G90 is absolute command. All dimensions are taken from the datum. Datum means this is the datum point. Starting point is here. So we will write X is 0, Y is 0. In this case, we will go with clockwise direction. 0, 0, x and y. So clockwise means after that x is 0, y is 20 up to here. Okay, we will write this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, this is 10. x axis is 0, y is 20 up to 1. 0, 20. Next, up to here finish. It goes this way, 1, 2, 2. So we will see here, arrow this way. You see, the arrow this way means clockwise. So Z, 0, 2. Next one is Z, 0, 2. X is 10, up to here. Y is here to here is 30. X is 10. Y is 30, I and J. If R, we will use R means you will take 10. We will use I and J. So I and J means the arrow goes this way. Start point is here, end point is here. So arrow is touches with Y axis. Y axis means J is 0. So the arrow comes this side for X axis. So, x-axis this side means, you see this side means plus, this way, plus. So, plus 10. I is plus 10, J is 0. You see, the arrow is touches with y-axis. So, J is 0. Up to here finished. After that, 2, 2, 3, this one is 20. X is 20. This is 10, this is 10, this value is 20 up to here x is 20, y is here to here, y is 30 again, up to 3 finished, 4, y is 40, you see up to here y is 40, x is this way no, x is 20, x is 20, y is 40, up to here we finish, so go this way. This way means the arrow goes this way. Again, arrow goes this way means clockwise. Clockwise is Z02. Again, Z02. You see this way. So, X axis is 10, 20. This is 30. Up to here is 30. X axis is 30, Y axis, Y axis is up to here, no? So Y axis is 50. I and J. This one arrow goes this way. The starting point is here, end point is this one. So the arrow is touches with Y axis. So J is equal to 0. This one goes this way. The arrow goes this side, no, this way. So it comes this way means x-axis is plus 10. 10, no, so x-axis is plus 10. Or is 10, so x is 10. I is 0, x is 10. Up to here, finish. So here to here. Up to here is 
this is 30 up to here up to here is x is 45 y is 50 x is 45 y is 50 up to here we finished after that it comes this way you see the arrow is comes down so again you have to draw the arrow is comes down means clockwise so g02 g02 you see x axis is up to here is 50 up to this one no 50 so y axis is is comes down up to here so you have to minus 5 so this value is 45 up to here is y axis so up to here is 45 x axis is 50 y axis is 45 i and j now we will see i and j value of this you have to draw the arc starting point is here end point is here it touches with x axis so i is 0 so it comes down the arrow is so the y arrow is comes down no y arrow is comes down means this is 5 you see here this is 5 so j j minus 5 is comes down down so minus 5 i is 0 j is minus 5 next up to here finished it comes down this comes down means this one up to here is 50 x axis y axis is up to here y axis is 5 you see given is 5 so x axis is 50 y axis is 5 after that up to here finished after that we go this way okay we first we will write x and y value up to here how much x value up to this one the full is 50 up to here is 40 x value is 40 in this case so y value is 0 the arrow is comes this way so this way means you see the arrow is comes this way so clockwise again it comes z 0 2 what is i and j value in this case you see the arrow is comes this way. So, what you will do? You have to draw this way. So, this value is 13.59. So, up to here, this value is 14.68. So, this way means goes this side. You see here, the arrow is goes this side. So, this is x-axis. x-axis means i. i value is minus 13.59. Goes this way, no? So, this side is minus, right? So, minus 13.59 for i. For j is up. You see here, j is not down. Is upside. You see here, it's in upside. So, it comes plus 14.59. 6, 8. Up to here we finished. It comes this way. Same with here. So, x is 0, y is 0. Now, we will start the program. First, we will start with n01. We have to use code n10, n21, whatever it is. I will write n01. m012, clamping the workpiece n02 m06 t02 m066 tool change t02 is tool number n03 m03 s800 m03 is spindle on s800 is spindle speed you have to increase the speed also S1500, S2000, whatever it is. Okay. But in this case, I'll use S800. 
N04, M08, who lent on N05, G90. Already we wrote X Y value in G90 mode. So that's why I used G90 in this case. G17, G21, G94. G90 is absolute command. G17 is XY plane. You see here, we will use X and Y plane only. That's why we used G17. G21 is dimensions in MM. You see all dimensions in MM. 50, 40 is in MM. G94 is feed rate per minute. N06. G00, X0, Y0, Z10. Why we used EZ10 in this case? Thickness of the material is 10 mm. EZ10. X0, Y0, Z00. Rapid line. X0, Y0. This is the starting point. EZ10 means is above the workpiece. N07. Z01. EZ-10. F 50. You see Z minus 10. In this case, you see this is the piece, work piece. Z 10 means the tool is in 10 mm above the work piece. 10 mm. If Z minus 10, Z minus 10 means it comes down. This thickness is 10 mm, right? is up. Minus 10 means down. Is it Z01? Z01 is linear moment. Now the tool is in this position. N08. Z01. You see X0, Y0 already we wrote here. After that we will use 0, 20. X0, Y20. X0, Y20. G01 is linear. Linear. You see here, linear line. So, linear code we will use here. Next, N09. Up to here, we finished. After that, this one is G02. We will use this one. G02, X10, Y30. G02, X10, Y30, R is 10, R. Z02, X10, Y30, I, 10, J0. Up to here we finished. This line, this one finished. Next one, 20, 30. So this line. So this is linear. Linear is Z01, 1, N10, G01, X20, Y30. You see, X20, Y30. Up to here we finished. But you see here, 30, 30 is there. So, 130 is enough. So, no need to write this 30 again. Up to here finished. After that, this linear line. This linear line, we have to write again N11. Z01, X20, Y40. You see, X20, before we write, so no need to write it again. So, we have to cancel it here. Z01 also, linear, no? The same only. So, no need to write Z01 also. So, Y40 is enough. Up to here, we finished. So, we go this way. Is Z02, this one. Z02, X30, Y50, I10, J0 or otherwise or 10. N12, Z02, X30, Y50, I or 10 or Z02, X30, Y50, 
i 10 j 0 up to here we finished after that this way this line is you see up to 30 50 i 10 j 0 up to here we finished this one we will see 45 50 x is 45 y is 50 this is linear so z 0 1 10 13 z 0 1 x 45 y 50 x 45 y 50 you see here already y 50 is there so y 50 no need to write it again so cancel it n 14 up to here finish so it comes this way so z02 x50 y45 y0 j minus 5 z02 x50 y45 i0 j minus 5 or we will use or 5 g02 x50 y45 up to here finish it comes this way this is also linear so z01 z01 50 x50 y5 n15 g01 x50 y5 you see above 50 is there here also 50 is there no need to write it again so cancel it n16 up to here finish this way z02 40 x is 40 y is 0 i is minus 13.59 j is plus 14.68 or or 20 z02 x40 y0 or 20 or z02 x40 y0 y0 means no need to write no need i minus 13.59 j plus 14.68 next n 17 up to here we finished so comes this way so x is 0, y is 0. So z0, 1, x0, y0. n18, m0, 5. Spindle off. n19, m0, 9. Coolant off. Here is n20, m30, end of the program.